Samsung One UI 4 final Android 12 build is finally on the roll. This update has made its way to a few countries for the Samsung Galaxy S21 series. I installed it on my S21 Ultra manually. I am rocking the German DVD build as you can see the details on the screen. Security patch is from November 1. The updates take months to hit my region through OTA so most of the times I install the official builds of other regions manually. First of all, I would like to congratulate Samsung for rolling out this update in time because no other manufacturer other than Google itself has rolled out the final Android 12 for their devices. So this time, Samsung takes the lead. Alright, we have covered all major beta builds of the One UI 4 already and most of you are aware of all the new features. In the final build, no new features have been added but I'll still give you an overview of most of the new features if not all in a bit. Before that, let me talk about the experience. I was an early adopter of the One UI 4 and since the first build I've been rocking every new beta build all the way up to the One UI 4 beta 4. Starting with the beta 1, the UI was full of bugs, the apps used to crash every now and then and the UI itself was laggy. Everything slowed down on the phone but that was quite understandable because that's what beta builds are all about, right? Samsung fixed some bugs with the beta 2 introduced some new features including the theme color options. More bugs were fixed in the beta 3 and 4 with improved animations. Some animations like that stretch animation in the settings app was removed. The beta 4 still had lags and my expectations from the final build were not that high to be very honest. Just last night I installed the final build and I was shocked to see how well it works. It's been more than 20 hours since I am running the final build and here is what I have noticed so far. The battery management on the new One UI 4 has improved a lot. My phone is not picking up a lot of heat either. I remain glued to my screen most of the times because I happen to be a trader as well and for me the battery life and the screen on time matters a lot. So far, I've been loving it. It's working really well and up to the expectations. Next is the improved speed. The animations are just too smooth now. I can barely see anything slowing down on the phone. Everything is too fast. Let me show you some animations of the stock applications, the recent applications and whatever you do on the phone, whether you switch between the applications, you open the applications, you play some games, whatever you do, the phone has become a whole lot fast and responsive. I have never seen animations this fast and fluid on any Samsung phone before. Can't say much about other devices because I am a lifelong Samsung user only. I cannot see any jerks, any choppiness anywhere while using the phone now, uh, which used to happen in all the beta builds. The stretch animation from the settings app has been removed permanently. It wasn't there in the beta 3 and 4 and it's not there in the final build of the Android 12 either. If you guys remember, the color palette option in the wallpapers was too laggy and it used to crash while applying colors or after uh, applying the colors, also it restarted the device at times. The issue has been totally resolved. This feature works flawlessly now. The new features if you don't already know about them include the improved privacy controls. You can manage permissions for all the applications separately through extended privacy controls in the settings app. Especially the camera and mic access, you can turn them off altogether for all apps. Allow some apps to use them or turn them on for all the applications. Furthermore, if any application accesses the microphone or camera, the mic and camera icons appear on the top right corner of the screen like they do on the iOS. You can also turn on or off the mic and camera access for all the applications using the new controls in the toggles. While using the applications, you can choose whether you want an app to use your exact location or approximate location. You can also view location usage in the privacy settings.
Furthermore, if an app accesses the clipboard on the phone, the phone notifies you quickly so you can always be aware if any uh, private data is being accessed by any of the applications through the clipboard of your phone. The battery and device care app has been overhauled. Uh, the new beautiful emoji now tells you how's the phone running. You guys already have an idea about the theme color options. This option brings Samsung One UI 4 more in line with the Google Android 12 Material U. It still needs a lot of uh, improvements. For instance, if you use this same option in the Samsung Goodlock application, you can customize the colors, create new colors for almost all the elements independently. While in the current theme color palette, you can apply system generated colors which are quite limited. Samsung has also added some new features to the Samsung keyboard application. You can customize the keyboard toolbar now. In the keyboard application, you can create an emoji pair and apply an animation of your choice. And yeah, the YouTube and some other search integrations are also there in the Samsung keyboard application now. It's easy to add and manage the events in the calendar application. Also the calendar widget now looks dope. If you run a timer on the phone and close the clock application, the timer starts appearing in a small pop-up on the screen like this. I think this is a new feature because I never saw this feature in the One UI 3.1 or One UI 3.0. So you guys have to tell me whether this is new or this is old. The widgets have got a new look too. You can view widget suggestions to pick up some useful widgets. The new dual clock widget now changes its color with respect to the time in that particular country as you can see here on the screen. The lock screen widgets have got a new look as well. You can change the media output devices right from the lock screen of your phone. Furthermore, you can now add a voice recorder widget to the lock screen widgets and control the voice recordings without unlocking your phone. And how can we forget that all new weather application which looks enormously good. I have become a fan of this new weather application. It's good, it's smooth and it's lovely. Navigation gestures work much better now. You can show or hide the gesture hints and switch between applications even when the gestures are hidden. The camera app has got new UI elements too. The zoom controls appear better now. Camera leaf buttons are gone as you can see the zoom in and out buttons for the selfie camera have also changed. There is a new grid uh, option in the pro mode of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and of course all the phones that are going to get the one UI 4. There is a new toggle called Extra Dim. Just as its name suggests, it takes the brightness down enormously reducing the stress on your eyes and also saves the battery of your phone. This is a useful feature especially when you are sitting in the dark. As I said, it does not only save that stress on your eyes but also helps reduce the load on your phone's battery and you can change the intensity of the Extra Dim mode according to your own liking. The AR emoji now gives you a number of new dance moves and animations for the emoji. You can also integrate your AR emoji with your Samsung account and this will appear as the profile picture too. You can create animated collage videos and stories in the gallery application. Now I believe this feature was there already but Samsung has just improved a thing or two and highlighted this once again in the change log of the One UI 4 beta. Now this is not it with the list of the new features and changes but I believe the ones I mentioned here are the most important ones. If you have found any new features make sure to mention in the comments. I am also testing this UI further and I'll keep you guys posted. For those of you who are interested in knowing what other devices will get this update, according to Samsung the update will soon roll out for the Samsung Galaxy S20 series including the S20 Fan Edition, the Note 20 series, the Z Fold and Flip the A72, A52, A42, A32 and some other devices as you can see on the screen. Let me know if you guys want me to make a separate video covering which devices will get the One UI 4 now that it's officially here. Drop your feedback below, hit the like button if you haven't yet and subscribe too. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.